at ease. Hey, good morning, men. This morning, we, uh, we're we gonna go on a little run. Before we do that, I wanted to take a moment and offer some remarks that should help frame some things that we can reflect on during that run. If, uh, if you're like me, on days like today, Veterans Day, you might find yourself reflecting on what it means to serve. And I tend to reflect on those Rangers who have come before us, and I think about the battles that they fought on behalf of this organization in this country at the places like Omaha Beach and Point Du Hoc, my Catania Airfield, Panama, and Mogadishu. And I also think about each one of you guys and what a privilege it is to serve alongside you today and the places that you've gone and the things that you've done going quietly about the business of our nation over the last nearly two decades. And I think about all of the hard days that can find themselves between that first time you put on a tan beret and then the last day where you'll ultimately take it off. And I think about the sacrifices that we ask our families to make so that we can continue to participate in this profession that we all love. I also think about, most importantly, our friends who aren't standing with us in this formation today, because instead of being here, their names are inscribed on this stone behind me. Guys like Connor Bernardzik, and guys like Jimmy Reagan, and Cam Thomas, and Josh Rogers, and Ben Kopp. Guys who, when asked to pay the last full measure, did so. And I find myself measuring myself against that impossible sacrifice that our brothers made. And I wonder if in that moment, if I were called to make a similar sacrifice, if I would have the intestinal fortitude to make that sacrifice, fully knowing the hazards of my chosen profession, as they did. And I know that's a question that we all ask ourselves from time to time. And I think about the solemn pride that has to belong only to the families of our fallen, our Gold Star families. Here in a couple of minutes, we're gonna recite the Ranger Creed. And as I've said to most of you before, you know the Creed isn't just a motto or a slogan that we kind of haphazardly say from time to time. Uh, instead, it's, it's a promise. It's a promise that separates us from everyone and everything else and focuses us squarely on our mission and our purpose and keeps us completely separate from any of the chaotic discourse that may abound everywhere else in the world. And it's a promise to those rangers of the past that we will continue to uphold the, pr the prestige, honor, and high esprit de corps of the regiment that they made. And it's a promise to each other that we will never leave a fallen comrade. And it's a promise to those who did pay the last full measure, that we will continue to fight on to the Ranger objective and complete the mission that they started, though we may be the lone survivors. Gentlemen, it's a uh, privilege to serve alongside each one of you today, and it is a great day to be a Ranger. Ranger, lead the way. First stands the Ranger Creep here after me. Recognize that I volunteered as a Ranger. Recognize that I volunteered as a Ranger. Fully know the hazards of my chosen profession. Fully know the hazards of my chosen profession. Always endeavor to pull prestige. Always endeavor to pull prestige. Honor. Honor. High speed corps, my Ranger Regiment. High speed corps, my Ranger Regiment. Second stanza of the Ranger Creed, repeat after me. Acknowledging the fact that a Ranger is a more elite soldier. Acknowledging the fact that a Ranger is a more elite soldier. Who arrives at the cutting edge of battle by land. Who arrives at the cutting edge of battle by land. Sea. Sea. Or air. Or air. I accept the fact that as a Ranger. I accept the fact that as a Ranger. My country expects me to move further. My country expects me to move further. Faster. Faster. And fight harder than any other soldier. And fight harder than any other soldier. Third stanza of the Ranger Creed, repeat after me. Never shall I fail my comrades. Never shall I fail my comrades. I always keep myself mentally alert. I always keep myself mentally alert. Physically strong. Physically strong. And morally straight. And morally straight. And I will shoulder more than my share of the task. And I will shoulder more than my share of the task. Whatever it may be. Whatever it may be. 100%. 100%. And then some. And then some. Fourth stands of the Ranger Creed, repeat after me. Gallantly will I show the world. Gallantly will I show the world. I'm a specially selected and well-trained soldier. I'm a specially selected and well-trained soldier. My courtesy to superior officers. My courtesy to superior officers. Neatness of dress. Neatness of dress. The care of equipment. The care of equipment. Shall set the example for others to follow. Shall set the example for others to follow. Who stands the Ranger Creed repeat after me? Energetically, I meet the enemies of my country. Energetically, I meet the enemies of my country. I shall defeat them on the field of battle. I shall defeat them on the field of battle. For I better train. For I better train. And will fight with all my might. And will fight with all my might. Surrender is not a range of words. Surrender is not a range of words. I will 
never leave a fallen comrade. I'll never leave a fallen comrade. Fall into the hands of the enemy. Fall into the hands of the enemy. And under no circumstances. And under no circumstances. Why ever embarrass my country? Why ever embarrass my country? Six stands of the Ranger Creed, repeat after me. Rally wide display. Rally wide display. The test of fortitude required. The test of fortitude required. Fight on to the Ranger objective. Fight on to the Ranger objective. And complete the mission. And complete the mission. Though I be the lone survivor. Though I be the lone survivor. Rangers lead the way. Rangers lead the way.